This album being so, so high up on like the hip hop and rap charts is an incredible victory for anyone who is a fan of alternative rap music. Like any rap music that doesn't necessarily conform to the mainstream. And by the way, uh, rap music that does conform to the mainstream is not bad. <laughs> I mean, there's a certain level of the production process that is objective. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to what you like. You can, you enjoy what you want to enjoy. What I'm getting at is alternative rap. Alt rap, I guess. It's really under the radar. <laughs> I don't see it get a chance uh, to shine as much as I'd like for it to because um, it's this idea that you can you can rap to whatever, whatever genre. And I think that this is a victory for that. I'm glad that I could get an album to be so high up on the charts for hip hop and rap to show that there is more out there. I've seen so many people say uh, that they don't like rap music, but then they listened to my music and, and they liked it and they couldn't figure out why. I think there's many different kinds of rap, and Deadbeats getting to number one proves that, um, that there is a place for it, I guess, um, where many people can see. I know that there are a lot of factors to consider, right? Pull Alive has a lot of eyes on it. I do, hmm, I have a rather cute human body that was created for me, right? But, all things considered, um, I'm happy. Maybe tomorrow things will be different. Um, it's interesting. <coughs> I was thinking about this today. It's interesting going every day to scythe swinging lessons with death sensei and going about my regularly scheduled day, etc. Um, just living the average existence of um, an apprentice reaper, I guess, amongst others who have no idea. I'm just a normal reaper in my day-to-day -day life, but walking around with this knowledge of, oh, my album is, is number one in the world in iTunes right now, uh, and nobody around me knows. <laughs> I'm just Calliope, swinging her scythe around. And it's kind of surreal. It's kind of like a, like, a, like a story, like a movie or something, like a, a weird movie. <laughs> but that's fine. You know, I'm cool with that, for now. I don't live the life that I want to live yet, where I can go to sleep when I want to sleep and, and wake up when I want to wake up, uh, but I always get closer. I always get closer. And I'm always thinking about the people who inspired me to start doing music. Yeah. A lot of them are still underground right now, um, but I haven't forgot them. Just want to give a shout out to those people, yeah. I should stop being sleepy. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's been a lot. It's, it's just been a lot recently. Sometimes I feel like if I say what I'm thinking, I don't want people to suddenly be like, no, 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 don't doubt yourself. It's understandable, but I still end up having the doubt of, yeah, whether I actually earned it or not. I mean, I did work really hard, but there are also a lot of other factors to consider. So as I've said, uh, keeping a level head about this, I guess, yeah. Either way, I'll just keep working hard. It's fine. <laughs> because I guess, even if I haven't, even if I don't deserve it, then I'm going to someday. Because I'll just keep working. I'll just keep working hard. To be better. Yeah. Isn't everyone suffering from, like, imposter syndrome these days? <laughs> everyone I talk to is talking about it. Yeah. I'm gonna stop being hard on myself. <laughs> I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Yeah, I did try really hard, huh? Well, that's one thing. I did try really hard. Mm. Sorry, I'm just looking at chat. <laughs> I have a hard time reading chat and like talking at the same time. So sometimes I just look. Huh? <sighs> 